must know the kind of thing he says. Listen to me, Yezune. If this misunderstanding is reduced to physical combat, my 11 sons shall run down your father as a female. Huh? Who is not Anthony, your only son? Who is he? They are going to defy your daughters before him. Then they will castrate him before you and leave. Nothing will happen. Then you are not. Go by and watch. Tell me, I'm not. Go by and watch. Go by my presence now. This is the work that I say. You lose presence. This is the throne of Google that is not your palace, not your castle. What is the meaning of this? Something is wrong, no doubt. Could you please share it with me? It is not just a dream. It is a revelation. I'm confused here, Your Majesty. What revelation? I am the only child of my parents. And I married three wives so that I can have a lot of children. My three wives were able to give me only one son. Now men with only one wife are making just of me. All hopes are not lost here, you just. You're still as active as a man. And all your wives are convinced that sons will come when God approves. In my presence. Are you okay, Your Majesty? It's me. Who call me your wife? Get out of my room.
emphasis on Bozica, the oil that lubricates your spirit. The band, subtleness. Bozica, I am not in the mood for your endless seductions that have not given me a sound. Now in your presence. Your Majesty, did you just say that? Your Majesty, I give you two beautiful daughters. A song will soon come. That is why I am Your Majesty, you've forgotten that I am the stubborn because I am not. To give you songs and words. Your Majesty, I am here to see if something will happen this night. I will not leave my husband until I hear what travels. What travels? Get out of my room! That's exactly where I want you to The emergence of the king. Let all women humble themselves before the king. No. 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 You're no. Just... I have an important meeting with my cabinet members at the show. And I've been informed that they are waiting. On that note, I'll ask that you go straight to the front. I want to speak to my husband alone. Leave us. I don't know what it is you want to say that cannot wait till after the meeting. Your Majesty, I will not waste your time. I just want to ask my husband one very simple, direct and important question. And I want him to answer me sincerely. I believe I know what you are planning to ask me. I am not in that mood. You are the king, quite right? But your family is superior. Pay attention to that which concerns your family. Don't tell me about family. For you and your colleagues that are married as wives could not give me the kind of family that I want. A revelation came to me last night, and I'll speak about it after the meeting. I 
that you girls go to your father and make him a shoe. A standing order of supply of fresh newspapers to us every morning. Why must my daughter's rich newspapers like that happen? Why? You worry too much. I mean, why do you worry yourself about nothing? These newspapers are supplied to the law, right? We could always collect them from her and read. Yesterday's newspapers? Why must you feel comfortable waiting for her to reach for us before us? Get to your father. Make him approve the vendor supply directly to us. There is nothing absolutely wrong with us reading yesterday's newspapers. They read right yesterday, we read today. They read right today, we read tomorrow. It's something. Mom, listen. There are more serious problems to worry about in this palace than going to that asking for fresh newspapers. Uh -uh. Serious issues? Like what and what? Mom, listen. You are trying to create a problem with me, James. And that is not nice. Oh, you know what? Both of you should look out for books on the chaos family system and read. It's always the survival of the fittest. And please, don't give me the impression that we're in the daughter's You know most times I do not understand our mother. What's all this now? Hmm. Our grandfather works for what you remember? Uh-huh. Let's say she has taken the world mothering part of it. <laughs> the fact that I have only one son to the best of my knowledge has not diluted the fact that he is still the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne. I had a revelation last night and it became clear to me that some council members are planning mischief against my family. What you are saying is, when how can you investigate all this? How can you? That is why I have called for this meeting. I want to be sure that I have council members who are on the same page with me. Your Majesty, it will all depend on what you mean by same page with you. <laughs> because as far as I am concerned, we are of the same page with you. We don't know these cabinet members that are trying to undermine the authority of the king. But four of us that are sitting here now, we are the people representing the four districts that make up our world like a kingdom. And we are committed to the progress of our king. Tell us what bothers you, and we are going to start now to dig into how it is. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm 
wondering what kind of plant it is. Oh, trust me. Exactly. Just confirm to me that you're ready to eat and you have assumptions in your plate. Okay. You wait. I'm ready to eat. Coming up. Such a pretty happy working African woman. Nice to have someone like her around. There is something you just said now. I want you to say it again. I want you to make it more explicit. Your Majesty, you are the king of our Urubeleke kingdom. And here in Urubeleke Kingdom, the king is the earthly authority that represents Shukwa Biyama, the God of Abraham, the honoring God. There is no body that has the right to undermine the authority of the king. Because anybody who undermines the authority of the king has automatically undermined the authority of God. And that person is not worthy of life. So if there is anybody that is trying to undermine the authority of the king, we want to know that person so that we can deal with him. So correct. So. You may not understand the importance of what you just said, but surely you have neutralized the impression I had. Your Majesty, I don't know the impression you have. The only thing I know is that I can die fighting for the sustenance of the traditions of this kingdom. Nobody, I mean, nobody has the right to undermine the authority of the king. So if you cannot blood judge this information of this person, it's the right to undermine the authority of the king. Well, you know, you know, you know. Sure. Yes. The person is not worthy of living. The custom and tradition was not that. I'm sorry. You are confusing us. It's possible you have a problem with our father. That could be understood. Husbands and wives may misunderstand each other. But what we don't get here is how it is connected to us. It is promoted to you because your father is not happy. You want sons and not daughters. Hurry, mother. But you're making it up. What? Whatever reasons you have for that is not, not to us. Not us come over both of you. Does this mean my daughters don't trust me anymore? No, not. This is far beyond the issue of trust. We are talking of the reality on ground. No. We discuss with our father practically every day. And he has not denied me of anything at all. How would you say that he's not happy with us? Now listen. Your father is the only child of his parents. He married Lolo early in life, hoping she would give him plenty of sons. Lolo gave back to the prince and stopped. Then, he married Uruma and I. And you see, we don't have any sons. I am particularly trying to get it. Was it our father that told you that he's not happy with us? He did say that directly. But well, that conclusion could be read from the statement he made last night. Your father provides you with everything you want. Yes! But he desires sons, not daughters. Oh no. It was a terrible deal. I lost control and I stabbed him to death. I thank the gods that it was just a memory. And I'm happy. Uncle Bellanoj is a man that can be trusted. Of course. You don't need to tell me. I'm sure of that. But you just told me that you could be trusted. Yes. Sorry, Prince of We saw others sleeping on the top of the house. What are you doing? 
you doing here? <sighs> you win. I went to take my leave. What brought you on the task to do? To be very serious. I have to move so that they can be heard. You win. Nothing else they gather there to discuss except skin of politics. If I must tell you the truth, Mercy, I have nothing interested in kingdom. I don't want to bother myself over trivial issues. My father is talking. A good one at that, at least from testimonies of people he has touched their lives. When I finally become king, I will be able to do that. Oh, mama! <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm having a wonderful time, thanks to her. <laughs> Anthony. Mom? Another cabinet meeting just ended in the throne room. And the woman confirmed to me that you weren't there. Can you explain? Exactly what I was explaining to Mercy before you walked in. You see, I don't want to disturb my life with issues of leadership and kingdom politics. I beg your pardon, Anthony. You will reign after your father. And everything about your life is already shrouded in kingdom politics. So I don't understand what you mean by I don't want to disturb my life. My father is. When I eventually become the Was it your mother that told you what you are saying to me? Dad, we came to you because we felt rather disappointed. But in this new age and time, you still regard female children as trash. Beata. Don't use such words. I have never told anyone that my daughters are trash. Next time, see them. It's already implied into your actions. What we are Gladys, you and your sister are judging me based on what your mother told you. You have not allowed me to explain what I said, and that is not fair. You are my daughters, and I treasure you like you. Don't allow anyone to confuse you. There are many men in the market. Men that are mad at their wives because they delivered female children. Those men should be educated. Those area boys under the bridge, causing confusion and creating mayhem. They are all males. And people like Nicole Strong, Jiwala Akun, Sujiwa Akun, Blessed Memories now, all females. The sex of a child is immaterial. Between a child boy and female should have a present family community and the country. Thank you, Dan. Thank you very much.
Why are you staring into space as though you didn't hear what I said? My mother told me you informed her I wasn't at the meeting. Now I ask you, when did you start nosing into my affairs? I don't understand why you aren't doing it. The queen asked me if you are debating, and I said no. That was because you were not debating. I cannot lie to the mother, and you know it yourself. I'm done with you, Ngume. Leave my presence. I don't know why you are angry with me. You are the crown prince. The heir apparent to the throne. The queen mother expects you to be around the king in order for you to understand how things are being done. What will follow next is a slap across your face. And when that happens, you will be. Get out. last night and you refused to listen. If you know what is good for you, take money from the palace account and go look for experts that will make you be a more children for you. That way I will be sure that no family with numerous number of male children will come here and defile our girls before our eyes. And you think that's ever possible, my lord? No. I have read a lot of books on the composition of DNA. I certainly know that if woman can My king. I knew when the meeting came. And I was expecting my king to come to the lounge so that we can finish our discussion. I don't know what my king is still doing there. When all the girls did you just say that to know what I would do? Didn't you see Mbeteka here? She is equally a wife and she will be allowed to live as a free woman in this palace. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, I am so, so sorry. I never knew you had something to discuss with the king. He was the one that sent for me. I'm almost done on leaving now. Please, you may sit. Excuse me. This is one of the things I actually wanted us to talk about. You felt I wouldn't give you another child after I had a birth. And you went ahead and married two other women. What have they contributed to this palace if not trouble and confusion? Give me another son and I'll send them packing from this palace. I got them here for a purpose and they are yet to fulfill that purpose. Fulfill the mentioned condition and see them sacked from this palace. Your Majesty, what kind of a condition is that? I didn't give you any condition before you went ahead and married them. Why would you now give me a condition before they are sacked? I have lived with you here for 28 years. It is unfortunate that you still don't know me. Is it 
that you think your position is above mine and this palace will be I have not called you out here to discuss positions. What I want to know is what it is you said or did to upset the prince. Information has reached there before. And you have been trying to impose yourself on the prince. Possibly to seduce him or something. I beg you, pardon. Impose myself on who? Do not act as if you are surprised. For you know exactly what I'm talking about. It has been alleged that you have been training yourself at the practice. And when I reconcile what I have heard and what I'm seeing right now, I am tempted to conclude in that you have been acting mischievously under our nose. Can you deny that? Since you, all that nonsense you write, a bunch of other jobs, keep blabbing about, I sincerely do not care. It is nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. Do not take the prince's leniency for granted, because. Hello, ladies. Mm. You both look gorgeous. Where are we headed? So, my affairs in this palace is not something that you talk your dirty nose in. Huh? Clearly, you're in a foul mood. I'll pass. And where do you think you're going to mess you or whatever they call you? Will you go back there? Go back there! I'm so going to do 
you inside this house that you will think of committing suicide. Oh. You even told me what she did. Oh. That good for nothing girl had the guts to raise her head against my sister. I don't care what any other person thinks about that girl, but the next time she ever passes my path, I will bring her into liquid flesh and have a stupid while I drink it all up. She's not a problem, and I don't think she would ever be. No one could even say that. No! Are you for me? Oh my god! No, 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 Decide to team up against you. How would you survive that? Hmm? <laughs> team up and come against me. Yes. The day they try and win, that day I will forever surrender to their slave. We need to come. Who's that? His Royal Majesty. There's only all of them. Oh, send me all that. Please! 
very strange. That is enough of this rubbish. Enough! This has nothing to do with being afraid or not. Anthony is of age. If our dad needs no children, we should get Anthony a wife. Who knows if we want to do the magic? What do you mean by that? What I mean is this. If our father is desperately in need of male children, you can pizza and give them to him. If you all of his wives are not for them, you should then get a wife. Who knows this one? That will oblige you to opportunities of knowing our tradition. I have engaged the services of Professor Wood to teach you our tradition. Maybe I actually need to start living our customs and traditions, like you said, Father. But I think I would prefer to live in the job. The kingship of Uruba Kingdom is a very deep one. Many things that other kingdoms take held as a You have to start learning the processes to avoid a situation where the king is coming out. Father, you're still the king. But you are doing me quite deeply well. Why should we be discussing succession to the throne when you're still alive? Fine. I may not know a whole lot as regards the customs and traditions of our people. But I do know it is wrong, Father. So wrong. Any unnecessary arguments. When Zobori will soon be your palace, to start guiding you on things you need to know as a king. If you want to Sincere to you, they would have told you that they called me a slave. Now let's face it. Do I look like a slave? Or am I equally a slave in your sight? What? I am not surprised they did not tell you that they called me a slave. They will say just about anything to make you hate me. I'm not bothered with people that will cook up any lie just so they can gain unmerited favors. Wait a minute, my girl. Are you possibly calling my daughter's lies? What?
I'm trying to figure out a way forward. Much as I know you're hiding something from me, I'll let it pass. May I ask you, mother? Do you by any means know any man with the name Wenzel? Yes. What about him? Father told me he engaged the services of the said Wenzel to teach you the customs and traditions of our land. What is that for me? Anthony, it means the same thing I keep telling you all the time. You don't have interest on issues that relate to royalty. And now you're giving your father the impression that you don't know anything and that you need to be guided. How do I get this? Where is it? Is that the arrangement? If your father has engaged in services to teach you our traditions, he should be the one to come here. Not the other way around. You can go to him. Mother, I haven't said I'm going to do anything. I just want to know who he is. Huh? Interact with him. I want to find out the things he knows about our customs and traditions and find out things. Looking at the king at that, it was clear that something is eating him up. Something that has to do with you. I don't know what exactly, but I think you have to be very careful. Be very careful with who? With the king, of course. I read his mind and I discovered this bottled animosity. Such animosity that can lead to something else. Ishiro Komodo, are you aware that the king is my personal friend? Why in this world will you advise me to be careful with my friend? If I may ask, what makes you think that it's your personal friend? Your Majesty, you have told me already that you consider me as your best friend. You just told me now. There are four the men that sit in council. I remain the only one you trust. You said you wanted us to talk one plus one. Why is it that I am finally here and you are not saying anything? Ichi, I am thinking of getting another wife. Another wife to make them fall. Your Majesty, that would be too much. That would be too much, Your Majesty. I don't even give it a The three wives have not done what I expected them to do. I am the only child of my parents. I had wanted to have a big family with many children. Your Majesty, to the best of my ability, you have four beautiful daughters and one son who is the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne. There are families that don't have any child at all. Your Majesty, you should be a second. You should be married. those girls shall soon be married and shall be joined to their husbands. They will face their husbands, and this palace will be of secondary interest to them. Some of them may even marry men not from this land that will take them away. Anthony, my son, will be left here. Therefore, I need to marry another one that will give me sons that will stay back and not girls that will be married away. Your Majesty, if you will listen to me, you have to share that idea because it is not popular. There is no guarantee that this new woman you are planning to marry will come in here and give you the results. Let us continue sending your wives to all the medical authorities around here. I believe that at God's own time, He will visit you and He will have sons for you. You don't need to marry another woman. The more women you have in your life, the more confused you are. The women, they are, they are prone to generate confusion. I have no more time for you to be confused. This is my kind of advice as a friend, and I want you to consider it generously. 
is your commander. Up till now, the king has not married another wife. And that is because he listened to the advice I gave him. He saw me as a friend that must not be undermined. Somebody that must be trusted. He holds my advice in high esteem because he believes they are of beneficial importance. Why in this world will I be careful with him? Well, um, my advice is based on what I observe. But if you think uh, you're being right, well, I'll give you a chance. You don't need to bother yourself. I already told my sister and she said it's better I speak to you than ever. As he says in what she said. And that is why I'm here. I don't know what it is, but you have to talk to my sister first. I want to have a real battle tomorrow. You are the head of the prince and the owners of organizing the family of your son. I want to have it as much. If you need anything, let me know. Real banquets are always organized to celebrate something. Did he tell you what you are celebrating? No, Your Majesty. He did not tell me. Though, I think he's planning to make a special announcement. A special announcement. Is this you? It's me. The prince born in 12 minutes. Oh. <laughs> how are you today? I'm great. I'm fine, man. How are you and how is work? Yeah. What did you? You thought I knew what? Did anything go wrong? Because I'm sure you and I graduated from UNICEF together. Is there something I should know? I could have been taken to the seminary. I'm starting to be here. <laughs> Wait. Seminary. You, Johnson. To be a priest. How? Hey, come, come, come into the car. We, we have to talk about this. <laughs> I'm fresh. Wow. I can see you've got some gods. You idiots. What are you doing? I sincerely don't know where I went wrong with you girls. But you continually see me as your enemy in this house. My mother is a good friend to the Queen. Mm. And I am here to help the Queen. Indeed. It's not like I'm trying it anything. Now you will spare us that stupid sermon about your role that and you will go straight to the first. You managed to gather those two networks of yours and came back. What are you doing here? You didn't make them rich. And what are you going to do? Why are you so careless with this? Tell you what makes you a better person than I am. Shut up. Is 
the queen asked me to come. That's why I'm here. And they started calling me names again. Call her names again. Mom, 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 please! Do not start. Go and answer the queen. What's that? I'm not even trying to be honest. Look at you. Look at you. You are so pathetic. You cannot even respect your own mother who gave you this thing. Get out of here, man. What am I doing here? Mom, you see what you just cost? You see what you are doing? It's because of you. That no life will touch me in that manner. That girl. It's not a no life as you think. She's a graduate. Mm. I know her mother. She's also a friend to the queen. Madam Amanda is a woman of class. Mm. So you girls should stop seeing her as a name. I don't think she's one. How were you able to do it? We attended the same schools from primary to tertiary. We studied mathematics in the university. How were you able to break into the seminary when you were not even a mass servant? I felt something was missing. I knew I was to be a minister of the gospel, a priest. After my encounter with the patient, I got directed to the director of the senior seminary of Oman. They are admitted and I'm the part of the community priest. Hmm. When was that? I've been in seminary on the 7th August. Strong emphasis is made on intelligence, and one actually needs to study very hard. To impress the authorities. Oh, hey. John Sinifé, the man by main man. You see, by electing to be a priest, you have practically exempted yourself from the stress of this life. I envy you. No, don't envy me. I'm on the part of the cross. It is a difficult path. Yeah, it is a difficult path. Do you have peace of mind? You said you were going to see me in let me alight tonight. No, 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 no. What makes you think I'm still interested in seeing the man? I am taking you to the park where you can connect your boss to a woman. We still have a lot to talk about. <laughs> The 
your majesty. Should I go and bring her back? She has no right whatsoever to walk out on you. Don't worry, sir. Thank you very much. Is my cross as a senior wife, and I will never get tired of it. In the meantime, the king said we should organize a banquet tomorrow. So please tell your children everybody has to be seated by 1 p.m. I've wasted your time today. Go catch a bus to open up. I'll give you a call later in the day and please do keep your line open. Your Majesty, I am not asking you to speak. There is something my daughter Hirita said early in the day, and I am beginning to think that the solution to the problem that disturbs my husband will lie in there. What did she say? If our father is desperately in need of male children, you can pizza and give them to him. If all of you that are his wives are not forthcoming, our dad should get Anthony a wife. Anthony's wife could be the one to make the difference. You haven't said anything. Your Majesty, as it is becoming rather too difficult for all your wives to conceive, I've been meaning to say maybe that's how God wants it. Oh no, my dear Angosita, you can't say that. God cannot want me to have only one son. When he was the one that said, go here into the world and multiply. One son is now multiplication. On the note of multiplication, I wish to present the topic that brought me. Your Majesty, what if we press Anthony to pick a wife? Do you know what you are saying? He is not thinking of the wife. Should I impose a wife on him? In the spirit of multiplication, I will say yes. If the Queen Mother came in here and gave birth to the prince and stopped. Mukuluma came in, gave birth to two girls and stopped. You married me. And after two girls, nothing is happening. Though, I still have hope that something will happen soon. But in the meantime, please, could we press Anthony to get a his wife could come in here and give us two boys. Oh. Two 
but that will be the best thing that could happen in this palace. My husband. Because of what you just said, this week belongs to you. No, your majesty. This week cannot be her week. You know I am not still done with my week. I cannot believe this. Do you mean to tell me that you have been standing there listening to my conversation with my wife? Is she of more importance to you? Ever before she was brought into this family, I was already your wife. And ever before you came... Sis, this 
right here is the kind of insults that our father sees us as nothing. <laughs> So who there is a problem? Twin mother. The twin mother. Ah. Now look at this. When a woman bears a son for her husband, she has the basis to control the man. Those were her father's exact words. So the twin mother has a son for her father. And that means she is controlling him. That's it. <laughs> but you know what, sister girl? We shall see. you made today. Her mother, you don't even value her as a queen. Just because she does not have a son. And Dad, you said that in the presence of a palace guard. By that, you have succeeded in making her mother very irrelevant in his eyes. But that's not fair. That's why we came to tell you this. I am going to speak on this issue some other time. Not now. I'm too tired today. <laughs> you live in the palace where everything has been provided for you, and you think you have arrived. Can you explain how we brought you here? I don't know who you are, and I certainly do not know how I ended up here. I don't know what you want. But please let me go. You must be a big fool to believe you will leave this place alive. Do you know where you are? This is the zone of vanity. Where we shall use your virgin blood to resurrect the Lord of vanity. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you planning to do? Come on, Messi. Don't be a fool for your really blue to the ground. You can no longer escape. For you are the chosen one. I cannot be the chosen one for I do not believe in whatever you call not fanatical. My virgin blood is sacred to me. I cannot be used to resurrect any alien god. This girl is there in me. Are you and why are you interfering in our sacred resurrection ritual to the Lord of Granati? Don't stand there asking me useless questions as if you have all the time in the world. Let her off your diabolical view or I'll end you now.
your room, please. I just scared to go back to my room. Please. Johnson called me to bring me news to me. I was shocked. I said, Shall I not go to you? But now you are here in my office to speak. I'm seeing this at the end. Send me to your determined. Yes, Father, that's the word. I'm very determined. You see, all my life growing up in the palace, I was never part of their royal traditional activities. Something kept telling me I did not belong there. I knew I belonged somewhere else. I never knew what it was until I ran into Johnson yesterday. Please give me the assistance I need to become a priest. He said you read statistics in Yes, Father. Johnson read mathematics and I studied statistics. I actually made a first class. Johnson would have made a first class too, but they denied him. They couldn't deny mine because I'm a prince. Please, just... I am willing to forget all of these frivolities and achieve this goal. Um, I'll discuss you. Sadly, did my son leave the palace? He left early this morning, around 6 a.m. He said he was going for morning mass. Morning mass? What did that start? Today, Your Majesty. But I believe the prince had always started. What is going on? You look worried, Your Majesty. Do you think? He is in any form of danger. I can call him and know his exact location if you want me to. Wait, there's no point trying to call him. I have been calling him, but he, he wasn't picking. I just found out he left his phone in his room. Okay. Should I go to the church and look for him then? 
Go to the church and look for him. I heard that. Am I the one you're going to the church to look for? Anthony. Why did you leave the palace so early? Mother, I told Mpume where I was going. I went for morning mass. Or is anything wrong with the prince going for morning mass? Did you just start attending morning mass? I say anything you don't tell How prepared are they for the morning of The Queen Mother has already instructed the chairs on what to do. I'm sure they'll be ready before the set time. I want you to understand that it is a privilege to be the one that's not a king. You may not understand the nature of your job. But my I will take them my life to um, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I am only but a nobody. There is no way the life of the king can be in my hands. Listen, I don't want you to be with you. But as long as you walk here, I want you to be happy. I am sure that if you are happy, you will never be a I would never, ever, for any reason, harm the king. Naturally, it's expected that one goes to give for jobs once he's through the school. Exactly in the pattern. I am a graduate. I am supposed to be out there looking for jobs at big, big companies. Prospective jobs. I could be at an oil company, insurance company, I could be at a communication firm, entertainment industry, name it, mommy. I could be anywhere working and making some money. Why? Why then are you asking me to, to go and become a domestic staff to your friend? That's where you get it all wrong, my daughter. I think I'm just sending you off to live with my friend like that. How no, my dear. I want you to go there and get the attention of the king. Eh? Not for anything stupid anyway. I just want you to go there and prove yourself to be a decent and the hard work human man. I'm sure you gave your mother to start your business. I never told you that I want to go into business. When I said business, I didn't mean buying and selling because I know that's where your mind is going to. I want you to be a big businesswoman, big time businesswoman, and a pro of labor. Hey, my dear, hey, listen. That king sits on a mountain of money, has plenty of money. If you prove yourself to be hardworking and decent, <laughs> I'm sure something very good will come out. Hmm? <laughs> Why are you still standing there looking almost as if you don't understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah. uh, you are starting to prove to me that you're definitely a blessing to this palace. They have already seen you as one of us. I can say, if you need anything, just tell me. Your Majesty, I am beyond words overwhelmed. something came up and I didn't see the chair again. Interesting. Something came up again. Mother, you said the royal banquet is for 1 p.m. I'll see you by then. I 
I can do it now. And you can talk to me. I woke up this morning. And so messy in the room. She actually confirmed the proof of few steps of the same. So, and what if Messi slept in my room? <laughs> Listen, Mom. I know what you're thinking. Give me some credits. I'm not that stupid. into the seminary. I'm starting to be a priest. A priest unto the Lord. Separated from all the struggles and stress of this world. Fully devoted and committed to the works of God. What more can we ask for? Who's that coming? I 
even if you're not bothered about the joke. The strange man appeared and prevented you from being the king. You should be bothered by that. <laughs> you call him a strange man because you don't know who he is. I don't think that man was a strange man. Really? And who was he then? We shall all be at the Saying that anything happened, you need to advise her. I mean, she does not have any blood connection with my son. So why would she sleep in my son's room? I will talk to my daughter one more time about this. Thank you. Let's not read any meaning to it. She said she was terrified after the nightmare she had, and so she had to go sleep in the person's room. Why did she come to my room? Why would she go to my son's room to sleep? Your Majesty, you've forgotten that these people are no longer kids. They've passed through the university and they can hold their own. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. So, 
her daughters went to confront the woman and they ran into the king who said that your mother is not even a queen because she has no son. My father said that. That's cowards. You see what I said? Okay. My only happiness is I'm not going to stay here for long. Else you will force me to eat my salad of shit. Eat and get that intimidating size. Kings and leaders, the natural sizes have never impressed me enough. You know? Your personal convictions, they have nothing to do with me. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Very well. <laughs> this feeling that you are coaching your daughters to follow the wrong path. And I'm asking you, my dear Moloma, what are your gains? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but you're really missing the point. What point am I missing? The point that you degraded my daughters and by telling us that we're not Come on, Moloma, you are twisting the subject matter on a subject way. And I'm asking you to retrace your steps. Well, it has to start with you. First, you need to apologize to my daughters and I over the comments you made. And to further assure us that we are not strangers in this palace. You brought your daughters into the throne room. You are standing before the king, Ezune of Urubeleke. And you have the guts to ask me to apologize. What kind of a woman are you? Father, if actually we are legitimate children born into this royal household, then you have to give us the assurance that we are your children and not strangers here. And that assurance must come in form of an apology. We want our mother to have a sense of belonging in this palace. Dad, we need you to rise as a king and trash this destructive tendency that has cropped up into this palace to its knees. This is unbelievable. Has it gotten to the extent of inciting your... Your daughters are against their father. Father, what is the meaning of a callous remark you made against this woman? At what point did we lose it that we can afford to be so reckless with words in this palace? What are you talking about? Let it not be that you have fed my son with lies. So she hasn't fed you with any lies, father. How could you say a woman married to a king is not a queen simply because she doesn't have a son? Whoa. Thank you, Daddy. Was it not what you gave to her that she bore? Wait, is it because of me you're making this of her? What has come over you, son? Stop this madness. I cannot stop anything, father. If it's because of me you're looking down on them, then you will go. Because I do not belong here. What type of useless talk is that? If you don't belong here, tell me where do you belong? First, apologize to them. Are you out of your mind? How could you join women in asking the king to apologize? I don't know about other kingdoms, but here in Urubaleke, kings don't ever apologize. You better look that to you. Hello, Father Silas. Good afternoon, Anthony. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Father. I am trying to handle the situation here in the palace as if not taking care of everyone in the palace. That sounds great. Um, in that case, I would want to waste your time. Um, I was talking to the bishop, and from the way he sounded, conversations, we've gotten the attention. Goodness. <laughs> Good, thank you. Thank you, Father Silas. I'm so happy. I'm so elated. What's the next step we take? Um, we shall go to see him tomorrow, but well, that will be to fulfill the necessary protocol. But Anthony, just assume you are Thank you, Father. I'm so grateful. I'll see you tomorrow.
Okay, bye. <laughs> God has done it. What has come over you, Anthony? Why are you misbehaving before the king? I told you before. I'll speak.
Tony is an outstanding character. I'm sure he's going to make a wonderful list. Yes, um, the bishop was very glad when I told him he would first class and start his games. Such people I watch the news as preached. I'm so happy to hear that, Father. I, I reiterate again. Anthony will make an exceptional priest. He's a wonderful person. Yeah, he's going to make a wonderful priest. Um, Johnson, I will always keep him from case of any fun and All right, Father. Uh, one more thing, Father. Is it going to be posted to this seminary room? Johnson, that doesn't lie in my jurisdiction. It is the bishop that decides where seminarians are sent. But not to worry. I'll present this case to the bishop. Whatever happens, I'll keep you informed. Okay, Father. Take care of yourself, Johnson. Thank you, Father. When I call for this elaborate royal lunch, many people were wondering the reason behind the call. Even my long here, between mother and woman, pressed me to know what we are celebrating. But I said nothing. That is the truth. We are not celebrating anything. I am happy because I have found a man that will teach my son the traditions of this land and groom him into the future king of this kingdom. That is why I decided to celebrate. He is Ichi Emwezogo, and I told you about him. He is the one that I acquired to teach you the customs and traditions of this land. I'm grooming you to be the future king of this kingdom. to you, son, to inherit this opportunity. You are the crown prince and the appraiser. It is right that you are grounded in the castle. Thank you very much, Father. I, I thank you all for organizing this wonderful lunch. I am indeed thrilled that you go this extent to teach me the customs and traditions of our people. Come on, son. You deserve more. I want to give you what my father could do. That was because we didn't have the opportunity to have Our kingdom has been blessed under my reign. So I want my son to have the best of everything. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm very happy you listen to my father. But to tell you the truth, I am not interested. What? 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 while I was before you came from Father Silas. Okay. He called to inform me that the bishop has approved my application to enroll into the senior seminary. Hey. I trained as a priest. Hey! Hey! hey. Send me, send me. Your son has gone. No, I have not gone, my father. I'm very okay. I am happy that this opportunity has presented itself. I don't need to be trained on the customs and traditions of our I am proceeding to be trained as a person. Hey! 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 This is not happening. Someone should wake me up and tell me it was just a meal. Who are the people doing this to me? He wait has not got to do that. What I see in him is nothing but useful excellence. Yes. We should allow him to come down. I believe what we told him definitely change. Do you really think he will change his mind after all? Yes, definitely. I can only say it will not take it. It will be easier for a camera to pass through the life than for a 
same human being that was arrested in the well before this palace to abandon it and resort to the solitary life of this entire story. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you know how? If you ask me, the best thing we must do now is to summon Okadike, the psychic. Because we need to know the origin of this. Uh, what just happened? Things. Nothing goes for nothing. It's your wisdom. In your wisdom. Are you confirming to me that someone is actually behind this? Of course. The manipulation is so glaring. A young prince who has been provided with everything suddenly abandoned everything and elected to be trained as a Catholic priest or what have you. Let us tell I'll say, uh, I'll say the truth. It's a plan now. What's up with Is it because they brought you here to come and teach customer television? Now you believe everything is customer television. Why are you calling it manipulation? Why are we behaving like people that want to challenge Chukwabia? Who is one and the same as God of Abraham? Do we have what it takes to challenge God? Mm -hmm. Why are you all looking at me as if I've said they're abominable? Yes, it's abominable. Would you I don't understand. This young man elected on his own to abandon all the things of this world and be trained to be a priest. Remember, I was the one that shouted out there. And that was because the shock was so much on me. Now, the reality has dawned on me. That what the young man did is actually something that is noble. We should applaud what he did. Not sit down here talking like people that want to challenge God. Go be Lord. Are you true? Go be Lord. Because I never knew you to be a preacher. Your Majesty, why are you looking at me that way? Let us look at this issue critically. I have four souls. Four of my souls that I sent to seminary. To go and be trained as priests. Foolishly, they all came back and refused to go back to the same like oh. And now we have a young man of our land who decided on his own to go into seminary and become a priest. Your Majesty, there is nothing as beautiful as a family having a priest. Something good is coming to your family. And let us understand it instead of sitting right here talking like people that want to challenge God. It is good and let us understand that what the priest has done. Is something that is noble, something that we should applaud. So that's what I want to say. Okay, no, I don't suppose it won't. What's your place? I see no manipulation. I call no. Come on, I call no. You can't do that. You can't do that. My only son has elected to become a priest. And you are not for that. For that for what? I had a revelation about you. And I've never given you that. But now it has become very clear to me. You had a revelation about me. Yes, of course. What was the revelation? You are the one manipulating my son. Yeah. And you cannot deny it. Listen, who go there not, you cannot deny it. You are the one manipulating my son. You are the one manipulating my son. You are the one manipulating your son. Yes.
Is that not where I came from? He just blocked himself from me. I has decided not to see anyone. Hands are clean. I would not have seen him in that revolution. What he said in that dream showed me that he never liked myself. Now he came before all of us and repeated the same thing. I don't need a seer or psychic to minister to me before I know he is planning my son's destruction. You will. If I say you are wrong, then I am mistaken. Your father and all of a sudden you want to go away to the seminary? What for? 
I said, you know, if I knew this was a rubbish recording, you get to tell me, I would never have done that. Before. You definitely cannot hide in here forever. Somebody has to talk some senses into you, and that is what I am doing. Unfortunately, you haven't talked any sense into me. Because I believe I have made one of the best decisions in my life. You should be civil enough to respect other people's decisions. If you do not mind me, I want to be left alone. You may not agree with me, but what you said is not the best thing a man in your position should have said in a situation like that. How? You said nobody how? Why are we against someone who decided to serve God? Why? I am sure had it been this young man decided to go into politics and be among the people that are still in this country dry, we will be clapping for him. But he volunteered to serve God as a priest. Why are we sticking in or that instead of his? Why? Mind you, we are talking about the only son of a king. The hair apparent and the crown place to the throne. Why should you encourage him to tread on the path to the person? Because it is his decision. And we must learn to respect the decision of people. Mainly when they are legal and within their certain norms. That decision of his is not within their certain norms. There's no way a crown prince like him that has no immediate replacement. I mean, should be called a prince. A Catholic priest for that matter. Is your commander? I don't know why you are defending this person. Prince Anthony, that we know, has not been initiated into the ritual of our man for law. He cannot stand before Dudu, the local law of our own fellow Kekinia. And that is because he has not been initiated into the masculine court. Anthony is still a complete Ubuntu. And there is no way such a man could ever emerge as a king. It's not possible. Why are you laying a wide allegation here? Yeah. Who told you he has not completed his uh, rituals? Nobody needs to tell me. Because I know everything about that ritual. Listen to me, Shea Kumar. His plan to be a priest didn't start today. He has been planning it all his life. And that is why he refused to be part of the ritual of our law. That is why he has not submitted himself to be initiated into the widespread court of Urubele Kekino. My take on this is that you should leave that in mind. Father Silas, forget the fact that I have not been coming to church, but you are free to go to your records. I am among the men that build the foundation of our St. Anthony's Catholic Church. There are things you say now that I will begin to feel you are among the men that want to destroy me in this kingdom. With all due respect, Your Majesty, I don't know where that is coming from. You are the king of this land. And ever since I came in here as the parish priest, I've never had any issues with you. I've always respected you as the king. If you actually respect me as the king, then you should not Encourage my only son to play this part. He is the one that will take over after me. How could you encourage him to be enrolled into seminary school? Even in the midst of the open ends of your palace, he still feels empty. His heart yearns for the Lord of Majesty. He had always remained restless. Serving the Lord is what we believe in this. We cannot be down. How much do you want me to give you? I want you to abort this process. Your Majesty, I'm going to pretend I did not hear that. You don't need to drive me to do anything for you. If this is something I can do, I would gladly do it without collecting any time from you. And may I remind you, Your Majesty, you don't make simple offers. Don't tell me that I am. That's a moment I want to call him and tell him that what you told him will no longer work. Then I will force him into our ritual this night to be sure he's the king after me. 
and the uh, yeah. guy asks, what is this amount of ritual? It is the ritual that he must have to perform to permanently qualify him as a He has refused to do all this. I never bothered because I've always believed that he will do it when the time comes. Then why are you forcing him now? Because he has come up with the idea of enrolling into seminary. Call him and tell him that it is not going to work. It is terminally on my own. If 10 million naira is not enough, then I said, I will make it 20. I don't want to lose my son. It is online banking. Give me the account number and I'll credit the account now before you call him now. Your Majesty, I think I'm going to end this now because if I allow you to continue, you keep on talking, trying to convince Your Majesty. I am a priest unto the Lord, ordained in the order of Melchizedek. I don't collect bribes. Fact that your son has refused to involve himself in the ritual means he has always had the call. We don't get in the ways of the Lord. And if I can advise you, you let the young one be. Let him be. Feel the frustration of the king that has only one son. The son who shall reign as king. When the father dies, now the time has changed. If you don't want to pray, you have to listen. insist on this your very unpopular decision. Reality shall depart from your family. After the exit of your father, how could you even think of such a thing? Neither forget the fact that you got married to my father and gradually became a weak Christian. It hasn't so, changed the point that you were born into a Christian family. I know. Please, don't smuggle sentiments into this. Your life and my life are not the same. I was a nobody married into reality. Exactly the same.